Right, so we um, earlier we got the dual hat working, MMDVM on a Raspberry Pi 3B. And I just thought we'd add the Nexion screen to it. So you can see that it's on now, um, but it's not actually connected. So what we're going to do is see if the image that I've got on there now actually works. So first thing to do is to go to configuration. The username is pi-star, and the password is uh, lowercase r-s-p-b-e-r-r-y, raspberry. Let's sign in. Okay, right, so we're into the configuration page, as you can see. At the moment, it says none for display, so we're just going to, it's connected by USB, so we'll select next here. Yeah, and we'll go, I'm pretty sure we've got to select the bottom one, which is USB. Uh, I always leave that one where it is. So let's apply it, and let's see if anything happens. Nico is too... Anyway, back she comes. I wonder where you are there, Andres. GW4PAF. Uh, not too far away from the town of Bonnetbury. GW4 PAF, yeah, thanks for coming back to me. Yes, I am in uh, Western Supermare, not sure what the uh, the distance is between me and, and Pontypri. But you're sounding good, yeah, I've, I've heard you on many times. I'm pretty sure we've had a couple of QSOs. So I just sat here twiddling around, yeah, I'm also, can, I can also click on your on your call sign and it comes up on the screen as well uh, using the, the Pi Star system at the moment. So, uh, yeah, I will stand by. I'm just doing some tests on this um, Pi Star. I don't know if you ever use one of these dual band MMDVM hats. So I've dug one out and I finally got the settings correct. And I've, uh, I've made a video and put it on YouTube so I can uh, uh, remember how I set it up. Because it was, um, it was a different than a normal jumbo hotspot. So thanks, John. Back to you. And then I'll stand by. G uh, M0FXB back over to GW4PAF. So yeah, working well, very happy with that. The Nexion screen you can see on, on there. In, uh, in Cheddar, they're probably still running, but that's a fair old distance from <laughs> from my location, Flatbed Vanbury. Uh, uh, so, yeah, um, yeah, I was going to mention something else. It's gone totally out of my mind at the at the moment, anyway. Yeah, you stay safe over there. And um, you're, you're sounding it's excellent. They uh, it's healthy to serve, eight years to family, stay safe. And uh, and uh, we catch you further on down the bill, uh, down the electricity bill, I guess. We're going to uh, log yourself in on the uh, German station on com, And then I'm going to do a <laughs> close down on this mode. And I'm going to go on Echo Link and uh, have a chat with the local link station. Andres, best wishes. My pleasure, sir. Take care. If you hear me on, give us a call. She's on report, PAF. Okay, John, thanks very much. You take care as well. I'll stand by. 7-3. Right, well, that was good. Um, the main thing is we've... Uh, I'll just go through the settings again. So the configuration is... I'll just turn that down in case that pipes up. Is on receive and transmit. We've got these frequencies here, 434-450 and 439-450. On the code plug, we've got the opposite frequencies. So on receive 439, 450, transmit 434, 450. And we've got one set on talk group 91 and one on nine for now. Um, and then just regarding the Nextian screen, 
we've got next year, and because mine's plugged into a Pi 3B, it's into the USB with a T, I think it's a TTL adapter. Basically, yeah, well, look it up on Google. Um, and then you've seen the frequencies. This is the, the hat again to select, just MMDVM dual hat. That's the important thing. Usual details in there. So all up and running. So thanks for watching. And I'm going to make a quick video now putting the same settings into my Retivis RT3S. 7.3, all the best. So just regarding the dual hat, um, I've done this one for the RT3S. I'll just show you the settings. So I've created four, one, two, three, four, five, six uh, additional channels within a, a zone that I've called DH for a dual hat. So I'll just show you how I've done them. <coughs> so um, on uh, this one, it's talk group 91, and we've done slot one, and then we've done another channel the same but slot two um, again we've done uh, talk group nine slot one hit, have a look here for the settings slot two then we've done a, a disconnect slot one and a connect slot two so it's all fully working now and the idea is that when you're on one using one channel you can use the other slot to to change and I've, I've looked on the the dashboard and it does do this um, so have a little experiment and uh, and, and see what you think um, so I'll just quickly show you the configuration again uh, in here here's the radio frequency RX TX and remember that it's it's the opposite way around in the in the code plug, uh, and then it will work. So hope this helps. M0FXB, uh, 73, all the best.